We are demonstrating obtaining compartment pressures in a leg using the uh, Centurion compass model. So when you first open up the package, it looks like this and you can place your needle on and then place your pre-filled saline syringe. You want to push a little bit of fluid through to make sure there's no air and then make sure that it reads zeros before you obtain the pressure. So when you're obtaining pressures in the anterior compartment of the leg, you want to find the lateral malleolus and the fibular head, and then envision a point midway between the two. You can palpate the lateral edge or the anterior border, if you will, of the tibia, and that's where you're going to obtain the pressure, just lateral to that. So then you're going to insert the needle in a perpendicular fashion, advancing one to two centimeters. Centurion advises to push just a little bit of fluid through the syringe to make sure that nothing is blocking the bore of the needle. Compartment pressures above 30 are definitely abnormal and would indicate a uh, compartment syndrome. Checking the lateral compartment. So again, you want to find the lateral malleolus and the fibular head and palpate along the shaft of the fibula, which you'll kind of lose up here with that lateral compartment. The bone will be underneath. Again, you're trying to envision a point midway between the lateral malleolus and the fibular head. And you're gonna go just over the lateral side, inserting the needle perpendicular. Again, very shallow, one to two centimeters, uh, unless there's a lot of subcutaneous tissue to go through. And then you would give a small injection to clear the hub of the needle. and then wait for your number to stabilize before reading the pressure. We are testing the superficial posterior compartment pressure. So again, you're looking at testing in the mid portion. Uh, for this, you do not want to go directly in the midline. The lesser saphenous vein is in that area as well as um, a nerve, so you want to go slightly medial to that. So mid portion of the calf, just envision a midline and you want to go slightly medial to midline and then insert your needle. This cadaver is a little dimitous into the mid portion. You want to advance just into the uh, gastrocnemius muscle belly. Again, sometimes it's helpful to use ultrasound, uh, depending on the patient's habitus, to gauge what depth the needle needs to go, typically somewhere between one and two centimeters 
is going to be adequate, but if there seems to be a lot more subcutaneous tissue, then you uh, may need to go a little bit further. And then once your needle is in place, again, you're going to push just a little bit of fluid through here according to the instructions for this monitor to clear the bore of the needle and then wait for your number to stabilize before you record that reading. We are measuring the deep posterior compartment. This is the medial aspect of the leg. Here's the medial malleolus. Here is the tibial plateau. So again, you're looking at a, a point that is probably mid portion. You can feel the medial border of the tibia. And you want to go just about a finger width down from that. You're going to be inserting your needle anterior. And then advance. And here I can feel the bone. So I'm going to walk that back just a little bit. And then advance two to three centimeters. Give a little bit of pressure to clear the needle bore. And then wait for your number to stabilize before taking a reading. Pressure measurements in acute compartment syndrome. Normal tissue compartment pressure is 0 to 8 millimeters of mercury. Ischemia occurs when tissue pressures approach diastolic pressures. Delta pressure equals diastolic blood pressure minus the compartment pressure. The critical delta pressure is 30 millimeters of mercury or less. The pressure causing injury can vary depending on clinical circumstances. Thank you.